Police say the alleged sock hat bandit Brian Parnell crashed this maroon Honda Accord into a tree off Beach Road in Covington after leading officers on a chase, clocking speeds higher than 100 miles per hour. He then ran about a mile. Covington PD did a great job setting up a perimeter and assisting a pursuit, and he basically ran right to the officers. Carrie Borchers was outside with her grandsons when she saw the suspect's car fly by, followed by flashing lights. He was going so fast, and I mean, like, he wasn't even thinking about stopping. He was going so fast, out of control, and the cops were right on him. He hit the curb. You heard it all. It was real loud, and I seen the car just fly into the fence and over the embankment. Police say Parnell was questioned by FBI agents and admitted to nine out of the ten bank robberies in the greater Cincinnati area since May. According to the police report, detectives found Parnell with the money stolen from today's robbery and the note he used to alert the teller. The only thing missing was his sock hat. Today he was not wearing, according to video, he was not wearing the sock hat. I believe he had a hat on, but it was not the sock hat. WLWT reached out to Parnell's family in Dayton. They did not want to comment on camera, but said they had no idea what he had been doing. Again, that was Emily Wood reporting for us tonight. Now, during the pursuit, a Kenton County Sheriff's deputy tried to stop Parnell along Route 17 near 275. When Parnell didn't stop, the deputy fired three shots at his car. No one was hurt in the shooting or that police.